Do you think transmigration is weird? I know I do. Transmigration is like reincarnation, only not into a human body, but into an animal body. In this video, I'm going to talk about transmigration, reincarnation, and my past life memories of having been a frog in Atlantis. Hi, I'm Carol Ann Chapman. I'm the author of When We Were Gods. It's my purpose to awaken the golden ones. Their souls that decided in Atlantis to reincarnate now when we are again on the brink of self-annihilation. They are incarnating now to be of help and also to bring in a new world. I awaken them by telling them these stories of our beginnings on Earth and our experiences in Atlantis. This is a video for the Golden Ones. Are you one of the Golden Ones? If you want to contact me, go to my website, carolchapmanlive.com to the contact button and there's a form you can fill out and then that'll send me an email. There's also a link down below in the description and at the end of the video, there'll be a playlist to my videos for the golden ones. All right, about transmigration. Have you ever seen a movie where they're making this sort of joke where somebody says, oh, I'm not going to do that. It's something bad because in my next life, I might come back as a dog. Well, they're talking about transmigration. And, you know, many cultures throughout the world do believe that people can also reincarnate in a animal body or even an inanimate body, such as a tree. Now, people are much more familiar with the concept of reincarnation. You might see a movie about reincarnation or in which it's mentioned, or you might read a book, or you might know someone who has past life memories, or you yourself might have memories of a previous lifetime. And if you want, uh, and you want to share what your memories are, just do so in the comments down below. Even if you don't have memories, you might just have a feeling, a knowing of something you were in a past lifetime. For example, I know a young woman who is a nurse, but she said to me, I know I was a prostitute in a past life. Now, another woman I know, we were looking for movies to watch one night, and um, I like to watch World War II movies, but we came across a movie having to do with concentration camps. And she was like, I can't stand those kind of movies. I know that I was in one of them. She didn't actually go to a hypnotherapist, but she just had this feeling she knew that she'd been in a concentration camp in a past life. Now, another woman told me she went on a tour to Russia a number of years ago, and they went to St. Petersburg. And when they got to this magnificent cathedral of Peter and Paul, she said, as soon as she got there, she began to cry copiously. And there was also another man in the tour group who began to cry as well. She said they sobbed in each other's arms. She told me, I know I was there. The sense of recognition was overwhelming. So I know that I have had past life memories, not only in my past life regression sessions, but also coming up in dreams and also just spontaneously to explain a situation I'm in. In fact, the first past life memory I had was when I was six. 
However, I don't know of people talking about their past life memories of having been, say, in an animal. Although now that I think of it, I have a girlfriend and it's very painful for her when she walks, her feet really hurt. And one day she said to me, you know, I think I was a mermaid in a past life. Well, you know the story about the little mermaid. She wants to have legs so she can walk on earth because she's in love with this prince. And when she's given those legs and feet, every step she takes is painful. And you know, I had this past life memory with the hypnotherapist in Atlantis in which I had been a frog being. Now, like the mermaid, I wasn't totally a frog. I had a frog body, but my face, I called it a pixie face. So it was sort of human, but it was a cute little human face. So I called myself a pixie-faced frog being. And I worked in the tower with the great and mighty crystal that provided the energy for Atlantis. So, I guess I might have had a memory of transmigration, as well as my friend who believes she might have been a mermaid. You know, when I think of it, there are these myths, old myths throughout time, throughout cultures, human cultures, about animals that speak. For example, the myth about the little mermaid or even the frog prince. And I wonder if these myths are about a time when people did reincarnate into animal bodies, just like my memories of having been the frog being in Atlantis. Well, any questions? Use the comment section below and please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.